unboxing video. My um, bookish box arrived. Uh, I think all of my subscription boxes are like a little bit oddly scheduled right now because of quarantine and shipping issues and all of that. But I have this one, I think, I don't know what, somebody mentioned that my April unboxing might have actually been the March unboxing. So like this could be April or May, I don't even know. But we're just gonna open it up. I'm opening it in May, I'm gonna call it May. It's my May box. I don't know if it's their May box, but it's my May box. So let's just get into the goodies. Oh, things fell out. So yes, I guess maybe I have these a little bit like a month behind because this is eternally bound and I thought that May was going to be the like seasonal court one. Anyway, let's just jump into opening this up. No more of this. So, let's start with the shirt because it's the first thing I see. I think I currently have lipstick on my teeth, but we're gonna just ignore that. Uh, I tried to like look nice today. Just, just bear with me, it's not real. There's your look at the t-shirt. I really need to get these t-shirts bigger. Um, magic is desire made real. Yes, I love Discovery of Witches. Okay, so this is gorgeous. If you have not read a Discovery of Witches, you, what are you waiting for? Also, I really need to get these t-shirts bigger because I would like this to be a little bit bigger. It's my fault. I always forget to change the size, but this t-shirt is amazing. Okay, what else we got? And I'm already happy, like I'm already super psyched. If you're gonna start with a Discovery of Witches, I'm gonna, what is, all right, hold on. There's something big in here. What are you? Something smells like mint. Like toothpaste. Do I have like toothpaste on my face? <gasps> I don't have a pillow this size. Okay, first I have to find a pillow this size. It's a pillowcase and it says, oh, Vu que ma propre vie. I don't speak French well. I hope you enjoyed that, my French speakers. But I'm assuming that this is from, oh, is this from Breaking Dawn? Oh, it's been so long since I've done Twilight. But. This is super cute. I need to find a pillow that's this size. I do not have a throw pillow that size. Let's see, oh, here we go. Edward's letter to Bella. Oh, so the pin this this month, I'm gonna take it out of its package so you can see it. Garbage on the floor. Look how cute this pin is. And I don't know if you guys know, but I have been putting all my pins on my new pin backpack. So I have my own bookish backpack now. Um, we've got, oh, well, I don't wanna take this one out. It's probably a little shiny. We got this cute necklace here, which maybe you can see, maybe you can't. It's this crescent shape and it's, rem it's reminding me of something, but my, my moon necklace um, marks you as a fledgling vampire in the house of night. I like it. Um, so this is a whole, Maybe this is what I'm smelling. This is what I'm smelling. It smells like toothpaste. I cannot read the top of it. It's something apothecary. It's a shower steamer in mint. I love shower steamers. I don't know if you've ever used a shower steamer. They are amazing, especially when you're sick. Um, like, and you have like a chest cold. Oh, amazing. Do it. Lizush, L-I-Z-U-S-H, Lizush. Created a Vampire Diaries inspired shower steamer exclusively for this box. Now, I have not read the Vampire Diaries, nor have I watched it, but I do have, I don't understand. I have to figure out where, I have three or four Vampire Diaries books that I found at the library, but I don't know if they're like the beginning of a series. I don't know how many are in a series. I don't know if they're like a spin-off series. But I have some and I need to get to them at some point. What is this? What am I doing? Anyway, there's something else in here. So we got our candle. So yeah, I apologize. My April unboxing is actually the March unboxing and this is actually the April unboxing, but it's in May. And then I don't know when I'm gonna get a May box, but like, you know, the world's weird now, but we just go with it. Dimitri leather spices Russian vanilla. Sorry, we're just gonna take a moment for me to love this. I love like manly smelling candles like leather and tobacco and bourbon and 
bergamot and just all of that. So I love it. Oh, by the way, if you can hear my laundry going, I'm sorry. I just really needed to wash some things. And I also really wound up with this. So that's the Dimitri candle. I don't think you can see it, but it's really pretty. So this is more Vampire Academy. Do I have Vampire Academy or Vampire Diaries? See, this is where like I confuse these two series, so but we'll figure it out. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh, this is right. I think I was missing tarot cards in a box. Was I missing tarot cards in a box? No, I was missing a woodwork. A woodmark, right? I was missing a woodmark. I don't know. There's so many things. These are designed by Dark and Beautiful Art, and they feature... Yeah, okay, I got it. So, we have Aphrodite from the House of Night. I actually really like this box because I like vampire stories, and this is going to make me find more vampire stories that I haven't read yet. There's Edward. And then this is Sebastian from The Beautiful, which I did read. And by the way, do not listen to that audiobook. It is terrible, a terrible, 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 terrible audiobook. Anyway, it's very rare that I don't like an audiobook, and I really did not like that one. Anyway, so now for the important part, the book. It looks pretty. was just talking about this book and now I'm unsure if I want to read it <laughs> because if you watch Eden is reading um he did not like this book but it's Crave which is kind of like Twilight but maybe I'll read it just you know instead of reading Twilight I'm sure you guys have seen this this is the this is the, the beautiful cover they made for this box this is the original cover, which I kind of like this version because it's not as shiny as, as the real version. But you know what? I will give this I will give this a try. I will give it a chance. I mean, I'm not going to say no to it already. Do I need to explain what this book is if I say it's like Twilight? This girl ends up in Alaska, dead parents, ends up at some boarding school. Boarding school ends up being a, like a paranormal experience. And yeah, so I'm excited for all of this. Oh, and it's signed, signed. I am not mad at this. Like, I wanted to try this book, and like, look, it's got like bloody chapter headings and like all of that. I still don't think we have a woodmark. I think our woodmarks are probably still held up. I just feel like we're gonna get like a package with just woodmarks. I don't know. I will say this about Bookish Box, they're super professional, so if something and transparent. So if something goes wrong, like you know about it, they tell you about it, they're very upfront about it, and like it's cool. Like you don't mind if something can't get done, or at least I don't mind if something can't get done or can't get to you on time. Like who cares? Like I know that they're gonna get it to me as soon as they can. Um, but let's see. I think yeah, the wood marks are still not being shipped. But that's okay. But we have our shower steamer, we have our moon necklace, we have our Dimitri candle, we have our awesome t-shirt, which I'm just like so in love with, throw pillow, which annoys me that I don't have a pillow because I've been trying to, I want to redo my bedroom and make it like a little bit more reading friendly and make some room for my boyfriend because there's no room for him and we've been together a while and he should maybe have some space. But you know, um, I have a lot of things, but I'm trying to like purge stuff and get rid of things and make room. And I just bought myself a giant beanbag chair to read in in my bedroom because I can read in this chair. But when we go to bed, like the dogs really just want to be in the bedroom. They don't want me to be out here. And he'll just, Hemi will just keep hurting me back to the bedroom. So, and I don't want to read in bed sometimes, but I, I can't read out here. So I just bought myself a giant beanbag chair. So I thought that that would be comfy. And then, but I want to also redo the bed and make it like a little bit more bookish, but I, I've been looking at like pillow covers, but I don't have a long pillow. I have to find that pillow. I have to figure out what size that pillow is. That was a whole rant about pillows. We got our tarot cards, we got our enamel pin, and we got the book Crave. So, I mean, I'm kind of excited. I like this cover way better than the black one that does actually legitimately look like a Twilight knockoff. This. This is way more appealing to me. Like, I would be like, yeah, I'll take that. But I guess there's like a second book already. 
or coming out that has like a different cover that's twilighty. I mean, the font in this thing is huge. Like, there's a lot that's just telling me twilight. But you know what? We're gonna give it a try. This one, I've been, I've been so curious about this. It might be like a love read, it might be a hate read, but we're gonna find out. Anyway, I don't know how to end these. We say this every time. I'm gonna go because I have reading I wanna finish and I'm gonna take some pictures of this stuff. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. The dogs are barking, the laundry's about to get loud. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.